Let's make these delicious lemon blueberry cake squares with lemon icing. First things first, we have one stick of melted unsalted butter in our bowl. To that, we're going to add in three quarters cup sugar and two large eggs. Once all of that is in the bowl, we're going to whisk all of that together until it's well combined. I generally whisk this mixture for about 30 to 45 seconds just to make sure everything is mixed well before I move on to the next step. Alright, once this mixture is whisked, we're going to go ahead and grab two lemons and we're going to zest our lemons with a microplane. A microplane will give you a nice fine zest which is perfect in these type of recipes. So when you're using your microplane you'll notice I just continuously rotate my lemon as I'm zesting it because we only want the yellow part we don't want the white part. The white part is bitter. So you just want to continue to rotate just like I'm doing here. And I'm trying to get one tablespoon of lemon zest, so that took about two lemons. Um, if you have smaller lemons, you may have to use one extra one, but the goal here, like I said, is one tablespoon. So you can see, I just got the yellow part, the white part is still there. You want to tap your microplane on your surface, and here is our lemon zest. So we're going to add that to our butter, egg, and sugar mixture, and then we're going to add to that two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I just squeezed the lemons um, that I zested. Make sure you watch out for those lemon seeds. <laughs> and then we're also going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. So whisk all of that together until it's well combined. Just like I'm doing here. This is a super, super, super simple recipe, which I love. <laughs> and then in a separate bowl, we have our dry ingredients. So for our dry ingredients, we have one cup of all-purpose flour, one half teaspoon baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon salt. So we're just going to mix all of that together until it's well combined. And then we're going to take one cup of blueberries, and I'm going to add about a tablespoon of that flour mixture to the blueberries and just coat those blueberries with that mixture. So just give everything a good stir, just like I'm doing here. And this step is done basically to make sure all of your blueberries don't sink to the bottom of your finished product. So that's why you would toss the blueberries in that flour. So we're going to add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients and just give all of that a good stir until it's just about combined. And then once everything is just about combined, we're going to grab those blueberries and add them to the mixture. So this comes together, like I said, super simple, very, very, very easy recipe. And here we go. So that's our blueberries in. Let's fold all of that together. And our batter is just about done. So you'll notice your batter is going to be like a cookie dough, a little bit wetter than a cookie dough. Um, but it's nice and thick. This is what it will look like. It's similar to a brownie batter. <laughs> that makes it easier. All right, so I have an 8 by 8 inch pan here. We're just going to line this pan with parchment paper. I'm going to put one piece going one way and another piece going the other way. It makes it a lot easier to lift the finished product out of the pan once it's done. But if you do not have parchment paper, you can just spray the sides and bottom of your pan with nonstick cooking spray. So while I'm doing all of this, my oven is preheating to 350 degrees. We're going to grab our batter and start to add it right to our pan, just like I'm doing here. Remember, if you don't have parchment paper, you can always spray your pan with nonstick cooking spray. So get all of that batter into this 8x8 eight eight pan. And once it's in, I'm going to use an offset spatula just to press my batter evenly into my pan. So you'll notice it's a little bit thick, but just put a little bit of elbow grease in it'll help you out a lot. Just continue to spread that batter out. And once it's spread out and as even as possible, we're going to pop this in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. It doesn't take long at all to bake. And you can see I'm just smoothing it out here. It's looking good. And it's going right into the oven. All right, so after about 25 to 30 minutes, our cake will look like this. It'll look light on the top, so don't be alarmed. But I used a toothpick, inserted in the top. It came out clean with a little bit of moist crumbs on it, and it was ready to go. All right, so let that cool. While it's cooling, we're going to go ahead and make our icing. We have one tablespoon of unsalted butter that I melted. To that, we're going to add in one cup of powdered sugar and three to four tablespoons of lemon juice. It depends on how thick 
you want your icing to be if you want to do three to four tablespoons so once our lemon juice butter and powdered sugar are in the bowl we're going to give all of that a good mix and you just want to continue to stir until everything is well combined and you don't have any lumps in your icing and also you're checking for consistency so if this was thicker and you wanted to add more lemon juice to thin it out you can definitely do that to me this is the perfect consistency for this cake so that looks really really good all right so this is ready we're going to go ahead and grab our cooled lemon blueberry cakes we can make our cake bars and i'm going to use that parchment paper just to lift it right out of the pan and that's what i was saying about how easy it comes out of the pan when you use your parchment paper so i'm just going to fold the sides down just like i'm doing here and then we're going to take that delicious lemon icing and pour it right on top of our lemon blueberry cake always give it a nice stir before I do it just to make sure nothing has separated or anything like that so once our icing is on I'm just going to spread it around just to make sure the entire top is covered some of it may drip down the side which is even better so just spread this icing out and then after it's spread out I let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes so that the icing will crust over if you try to cut it right away the icing is still kind of wet so it'll just be kind of runny. I like it to kind of set a little bit. All right, so that looks good. Oh my goodness, look at this. All right, so now it is time to cut our cake bars. Now you can cut this whatever size you like. I generally cut it into either nine pieces or 16 pieces. It just depends on how you want to cut it. So just start to get that sharp knife. We're going to cut ourselves a nice piece. One thing I love about this is that you can substitute the blueberries for raspberries or strawberries, um, whatever you like, just have fun with it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut across. And you can see how easy this cuts. I cannot wait to take a taste. These are gonna be so good. All right, so I just cut half the cake because I'm ready to get a piece. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and grab one of the squares and I can show you what the inside looks like. Let's peel it off this paper. Here's our lemon blueberry cake bars. You can see those beautiful, delicious, plump blueberries. And I'm going to give you an even better look. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. And here we go. Let's get a little bit closer. Let's try to see if we can get a better look there we go a little bit <laughs> that looks so 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 good and of course i have to take a big bite because i am ready to taste this y'all oh my goodness the perfect mixture of lemon sweet blueberries that perfectly sweet and tart lemon icing you all have to make this thank y'all so much for watching i'll talk to you later bye guys